We're going to learn in this lesson how to save a selection. When you save a selection, it saves it in the channels panel. That's why I have channels open, layers open. Layers is what you always look at when you look at your picture. When you save a selection, it saves it in the channels panel. Remember the RGB that we did? Well, I'm going to make this very simple and use the rectangular marquee like we did in the RGB. So let's say this is a big old fancy shape and we have other things to do, but we don't want to have to do this again. So we're going to go to select, save selection. Now notice this dialog box. It says channel new. I'm going to name it REC. When I say OK, see Operation New Channel, it will give me a black and white version of the marching ants. Click OK. I'm going to go to Select, Deselect. The marching ants are gone, but over here in the Channels panel, if I hold the Option key, there's the rectangle. So I'm going to go back here. I'm back in looking at whatever the picture is, which is nothing, it's just white. And I want to use that rectangle selection I made. So I'm going to go to Select, the drop down menu, Load Selection. The channel I want is the one I just made, REC. The reason there's an arrow pointing down is you can have at least 50 plus channels. Operation, new selection. And when I say, when I click OK, the shape of the black and white REC will appear in marching ant form upon the white layer. And there it is. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. It's already on foreground color. That's not the default, so you want to make sure you get the color that you want, whether you're painting or filling. Click OK, and there it is. It's the shape that you made. I'm going to select, deselect, and you notice, I'll hold the Option key, there's that and go back to the RGB. They're identical. They're the same shape. There are many uses for this. This is the very first simplest use.